15 años. Ah, estuvo usted ahí. Ah, sí. no sabía. Pues. Ah. Sí, yo era la gerente de Texas. Ah, mire, qué bueno. Sí, por 15 años. Pero ahora trabajo independiente. Ah, qué bueno. Sí, tuve que dejar el trabajo por problemas de salud y no había quien cuidar a mi mami, la cuidé yo. Está bien, no, lo importante es la familia, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo estoy en el comité de educación y ahorita por la cosa de la pandemia no podemos andar Ajá. afuera. Con y la ahí... niña Leti y la niña Miriam. ¿Ah? Con Leti y con Miriam. Eh, no, la, la niña Leti ya salió. Ahorita okay. solo estamos en Good evening, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Okay, you guys are ready? Yes, yeah. very okay. ready. Okay, good. Excellent. Uh, yesterday, we were practicing WH questions, yes or no questions, and then also WH with the verb to be. So let, let me show you something. Uh, Vamos a hacer un calentamiento. This is uh, something that we have already seen, but I want to show you. Maybe you can help me. This is a this is a little presentation here on the verb to be. And podemos hacer positivo y preguntas with the verb to be. Okay. Uh, do you remember how to do questions with the verb to be? Right. Positive. I say, for example. Uh, she is a doctor. Positive. Questions? How do I do this into a question? Who is she? Pongo el verb to be primero, verdad? Is she a doctor? Is she a doctor? And question, right? Okay, so we're going to practice that. I'm going to show you a picture and then you can help me. Uh, uh, do the positive and then do the question. You ready? Yes. Okay. Who is he? Uh, Barack Obama. And can you give me some information about him? Um, he was the president uh, of the United States. He was a president. Okay. Or uh, present, porque todavía se le dice presidente, right? Present. You can okay. say present. He's a present. He's a president. He is. Very, yeah. very good. He is a president. Very good. If I want to do a question, how can I do the question? La misma estructura que ustedes usaron. He is a president. Now only make it into a question. Is he the president? No los escucho. Is he okay. a president? Very good. That is correct. Okay. Veo que algunos están un poco inseguros. Okay. Let's let's make sure that we're correct, right? He is a president. ¿Cómo hago la pregunta? Is he a president? Is he a president? Okay. So, es lo único que estamos haciendo. Just just practice this. Okay. Next picture. Let me show you the next picture. Who is this? Uh, Bill Gates. Okay. He is Bill Gates. He is Bill Gates. How, okay. how do you say in English? Um, philanthropo. Uh, it's a little difficult. F philanthropist. 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 Okay. So, manteniendo la cosa sencilla, va? Por la cosa es practicar la estructura. He is Bill Gates. Okay, positive. And if I want to make a question? Is he Bill, is Gates? He Bill Gates? Very good. Is he Bill Gates? Very good, good job. Okay, let's go to the next one. Who is this? Denzel Washington. He's a Denzel Washington. Complete sentence? No. I he don't is... know. He is Denzel Washington. Then Zell, no sé cómo escribir su nombre, then Zell. Zell, yeah, right, no. C-E-L. 
Denzel. No yeah. sé si es así. Ok. No. Bueno, e. don't worry. I don't, know, I don't know how to spell his name. So, if I want to ask a question, how can I do this? Is he Denzel Washington? Very good. And don't forget question. All right, very good. Ya no tengo que escribirla. I think you guys understand. Let's do the next one. Uh, mm. Brad Pitt. Brad they are actor. Very good, they, Sara. They are actors. And if you want to convert it into a question, you want to do a are question? They are, are they, are are they actors? actors? Are they actors? Very good. Very good. Okay. Next. The Avengers. They are, they are Avengers. <laughs> they are superheroes. También, you can say that. Okay. And if you want to make it into a question, are they are superheroes? Are they superheroes? Very good. Who is she? Uh, he is. He. Uh, she, perdón. She, she is. Mm. She is Isabella. Queen. Queen. She queen. Is, she is a queen. Okay. And if you want to make a question. Is she a queen? Is she a queen? Very good. Okay. What about these uh, students? They are students. They are students. They are students. Okay. Are they a student? Question. Are they are they students? Okay, very good. What about this guy? King is a soccer player. I, Pelé. I know his name is Pele, but I mean, what what does he do? What is his profession? He he is play soccer. Mm, he is he a is soccer, soccer player. Soccer play. He is a soccer player. Soccer player. Okay. Question. Is he a soccer player? Is he a soccer player? Now, aprendimos intonation. ¿Se acuerdan que aprendimos un poquito de intonación? ¿Cómo es la intonación para este tipo de preguntas? ¿Para arriba o para abajo? Is. No, mi pregunta es, ¿cómo es la intonación para este tipo de preguntas? ¿Para arriba o para abajo? Para arriba. Okay. Can you give me an example? How do you say it? I don't stay in this class. Is ¿Ah? he a soccer player? No estuve en esa clase, quizás. Ah, okay. Intonation. Uh, for yes or no questions, intonation up. Sube para arriba. Is he a soccer player? ¿Escuchan el tono de mi voz? Es sí. el acento final, güey. No es un acento, sino que es una, una intonación. Y si hay Lo que pasa es que cuando es una pregunta siempre lleva otro tono al final. Mm, si es pregunta con sí o no, el tono va para arriba. Ah. Si es pregunta de WH, WH questions, la intonación va para abajo. Mm. Ok. But let's practice this one. Intonation up. Is he a soccer player? Is he a president? Are they actors? Mi voz va para arriba. Escuchan el tono. Teacher, so when you when you in question verb to be, the intonation is up. When you use w, uh, w, w, w is WH. WH. Uh -huh, es para abajo. Yes, that's correct. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay, let's go to the next one. One more. I know, that's it. Finish. Okay, I want you to turn on your camera. Let me stop sharing. I need to take a picture of the attendance. Let's do the attendance. 
Eh, tenemos a Sara, ¿sí? alguien que no ingresó con su nombre. No, creo que todos ingresaron con su nombre. Ok. Very good, very good. All right, let me just take a picture. Okay, that's it. All right, deme un segundito, solo lo voy a poner ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp. All right, very good. Uh, this is intermediate class. Today is... All right, very good. Intermediate class. Seven. Let me see. It's July 7th, and this class is from 8 to 9 p.m. All right, very good. Okay. So let's go to the next section. Let's go to Inglés Corporativo. Veamos nuestra, nuestra guía aquí en la plataforma. Uh, yesterday, we did count nouns. Count nouns, right? Hicimos count nouns. Um, algunos eh, hicieron la, la, la hoja que les mandé, la worksheet. Yes. Okay. Very good. Teacher, some sheep have problems. ¿Cómo? Algunas hojas tienen problemas. Okay. Now, look. No te voy a confirmar eso porque no, no te puedo decir sí o no. Las que yo les estoy dando, yo las veo primero. Pero, ojo, Sara, esa hoja, esa página... Es gratis. Cualquiera puede hacer una hoja allí. Oh. ¿Me entiendes? No, es, no sí. es algo oficial. No es como uh -huh. una ed editorial oficial o una plataforma oficial. Es como ese sí. tipo de páginas que cualquiera puede poner y crear su hoja y puede poner lo que quiera allí. Es como ese tipo de hoja para compartir información. No sé si me entiendes. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, no te puedo confirmar todas las hojas que están allí, que están correctas. Yo solo le, le doy algunas, yo una o dos uh -huh. solo para practicar, pero eh, no, si ustedes quieren a, como, como empezar a buscar más, lo pueden hacer 100%, háganlo, pero yo no le puedo garantizar que están correctos, ¿me entienden? Yes. Ok, y no le puedo garantizar las instrucciones y nada, yo, yo no le he visto. All right. Very good. So, count nouns. Eso ya lo vimos. Uh, let me see. I have a... Let me just... Okay. Yesterday we practiced... Count nouns. Excellent. So, let me see if we can do a little review. Give me an example of a count noun. Eh, si ustedes ven su, su refri, abren la refri. Give me an example of count and non-count nouns that you have. Can you give me an example? In my refri. What do you have? There, uh, there example, are some eggs at some. Mm -hmm. In there is some rice. There are some bananas. There are some watermelon. Okay. And now, and, and there are. Sigas, solo quiero, solo quiero que tú me des Sara. Eh, y no solamente Sara aquí, porque tú, yo sé que tengo otras personas acá. Sara, count nouns. Sí. Count nouns. Count. ¿Cuáles son algunos count nouns que uh -huh. tú tienes en tu red? 
Count nouns. Eggs. 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 Very good. Uh huh. ¿Qué más? Count nouns. Count nouns. Cosas que puedo contar. Wilfredo, Brian, I think Stephanie, otras personas Apples. aquí, Raúl. Apples. Apples, very good. Bananas. Bananas. Very good. Onions. Onions. Uh, one onions, two onions. Watermelons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Garlic. <laughs> Garlic. Yeah. Uh, okay, very good. Eh, now, non-count nouns. Cosas que no puedo contar que están en mi refri. Non-milk. Count Water. Water. Oil. Water, uh huh. Milk. Cheese. Juice. Juice. Mm, yeah, uh huh. Juice. Oil. Oil. Butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Butter. Very good. Vista. Ah, bistec. Bistec. Ajá. Ah, ok. En inglés se dice steak. steak. No se dice bistec. Steak. Ok. All right. Very good. Excellent. Right. So count, count nouns and non-count nouns. These are examples. Right. Tomando el, el ejemplo de la, de la cocina. Right. Very good. Ok. Now, yesterday, ¿qué hicimos? Hicimos quantity adverbs or se conocen también como expressions of quantity expressions of quantity ahora vamos a hacer indirect questions pero solo quiero repasar eso rapidito expressions of quantity all right so let me see here okay solo quiero llegar aquí a la foto do you guys remember when we're using count nouns Okay, we can use too many, fewer, more, or aren't enough. Okay, no. now, ustedes mismos me dieron una lista de cosas que, 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 que son countdowns y que están en su refri. ¿Recuerdan? Yes. Te voy a mostrar la lista que me dieron. Eggs, apple, onions, watermelons, eh, garlic, uh, uh, what else? Uh, you can say, uh, what else? Uh, mangoes. Okay. So, using the phrase here, too many. Too many. Give me an example. Too many. Too, too many. There are... Uh, too many eggs. Too many garlic. There are too many. Uh, solo, vamos a decir eggs. There are too many eggs in the refrigerator. In the kitchen. Okay. There are too many eggs in the kitchen. Okay. Example. Okay. Very good. Siguiendo el ejemplo. They are. There should be fewer eggs in the kitchen. Debería. Mm -hmm. We need more bananas in the kitchen. There aren't enough apples in the kitchen. Okay? So cualquiera de estos les puede, los pueden usar. Now, remember. Remember that we have, vamos de, de más, porque estamos hablando de Quantity, right? Numbers. More, and this is positive. So vamos de más hacia menos. Okay? Too many, fewer, more, not enough. Okay? So we go from more to less. All right, now, ustedes me dieron una lista de non count nouns. Do you remember? Me dijeron cheese, yes. butter, oil, water. Okay, can you give me an example? How would you use it with too many? Too, I'm sorry, too much, less, more, isn't enough. How can you make a sentence? There is too much oil. There is too much water in the refrigerator. 
Okay, there is it's too cold. much water in the refrigerator. Okay, very good. What else? There should be less oil in the kitchen. What else? More. Hmm? We need more. We need more juice in the kitchen. Okay, we need more juice in the kitchen. Very good. Isn't enough. There, there is enough milk. Uh, repeat it. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Repeat. Alguien dijo ahí, pero no le escuché porque habló bien bajo. Come on, repeat. Repeat. No tengan miedo. Come on. There isn't enough milk. There isn't enough milk in the kitchen. Very good. Right? Ok, so, solo que nosotros hicimos el ejemplo de la, de la uh, coronavirus. Remember, we were talking about the, the pandemic, right? Estamos hablando del pandemic. For example, you can say, um, doctors, for example. There are, no, no, uh, too many, we talked about uh, people. There are too many people outside. There should be fewer people outside in the streets, okay? We need more doctors in the hospitals. There aren't enough nurses in the hospital. ¿Se acuerdan? Hicimos ejemplos así, usando, hablando de la pandemia. ¿Se acuerdan? Okay? Yes. Now, help me with the next one, with non-count nouns. Examples. Ustedes mismos me dieron varios ejemplos. Oh. Los grupos que estuvieron ayer. In the street, in the street, there are fewer cars. Eh, pero estamos aquí. Too much. Too much. Ajá, too much. There is too much people Let's... outside. No le escucho ahí, alguien, alguien, alguien habló, pero no le escuché. There is too much people outside. Okay, very good. There is too much people, but in ese caso tiene que usar many. Because people, uh, there, you can count. Okay. There, there is too much pollution in the street. Yes, very good. Pollution. Pollution no se puede contar, right? Very good. Pollution. There should be less pollution okay what about this one more is intercambiable you can use it for count and non-count nouns can you give me an example we need more time in quarantine we need more time in quarantine right recuerdo que alguien dio ese ejemplo very good okay eh, ¿qué más? de los grupos que estaban ayer Enough isn't enough. Come on, los grupos que estaban ayer dieron buenos ejemplos y ahora no pueden dar uno. Come on, you can do it. Okay, voy a llamar a personas. Brian. Brian, what do you think about the situation that, the, that we're going through right now. There isn't enough. No count. Huh? De no contable. Uh, yes, non-countable. Uh-huh. Estamos aquí. There isn't enough. Okay, okay. Hagamos una cosa. Uh, give me an example. Give me an example in the chat. Cada uno. Yo, Give me an example. There isn't enough teacher. Yes. There isn't enough medicine in the hospital. Very good. Okay, very good. Not a medicine is a non-count noun, right? No puedo contar. One medicine, two medicine, three. No, right? So it's a non-count noun. Okay? Very good. Very good, Sara. Eh, cada quien, deme un ejemplo ahí en el chat. Count noun and non-count noun. 
en los chats. Busquemos un tema. Hablemos de, la, de lo que estábamos hablando ayer, de la, de la pandemia. ¿Ok? El mismo tema que estábamos haciendo ayer, yo creo que se les olvidó a la mayoría. ¿Ya? Yeah. Give me an example. Cada quien. Countdown and non-countdown. One. Solo uno de cada uno. Okay, very good. Ya cayó el primer chat. Let's see who it is. Okay, very good. Brian, we need more days in the house. Okay, all right. Uh, Eric, there isn't enough doctors in the hospital. Very good. Hey, Wilfredo, there is not enough tools. Okay, very good. Pero solamente, Wilfredo, tú ves como... Como en el caso de los countdowns, tengo que usar el verb to be are, no el verb to be is. Okay. Very good, very good. Let's see. Sara, the hospital need more rooms. Okay. Solamente Sara allí, tienes que usar una S. Need. The hospital needs. Needs. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think we need less people outside. Very good, Andrea. Raul, there aren't enough hospitals. Very good. Ana, there are too many people in the street. Okay, very good. Ese ejemplo ya lo di. Okay, Wilfredo, uh, we need more medicine in the hospital. Stephanie, very good. There isn't enough information of the virus. Very good. Kenya, information is a non-countdown. Very good. Entonces, uso isn't enough. Very good. Nestro, we need more information for the virus. Um, le voy a decir, ambos, Kenya and Nestro, hicieron casi el mismo ejemplo. Lo que pueden usar es, we need more information about the virus. There isn't enough information about Sobre, sobre el virus, about the virus, very good. Michelle, there isn't enough alcohol gel, okay? We need more COVID test, very good, Vanessa. Okay. Teacher. Uh-huh. You can say we need one vaccine for the virus? We need one vaccine. Uh, no, entonces ahí solo, en vez de decir one, usa el artículo A. We need a vaccine. A vaccine. Mm -hmm. Very good. There aren't enough health workers. Very good, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Very good. Por eso, ahora escuché en la noticia de que eh, estaba, estaban He's pidiendo... Covid. Perdón. Perdón, perdón, Sara. Yeah, yeah. Eh, that's a good example. Eh, el ejemplo que puso Andrea. There aren't enough health workers. Very good. Um, Ahorita el presidente está llamando gente para que venga a trabajar en los hospitales porque no hay suficiente. Very good. Sara, tell me. Uh -huh. uh, with COVID, the, ay, me equivoqué en una letra ahí, pero es de dedo. The people need too much defenses. Eh, ¿Me está hablando el ejemplo que acabas de poner? Sí. Eh, no, puedes, no puedes iniciar una oración con la palabra with. Uh -huh. COVID-19, the people need too much defense. Ok, tenés que enfocarte en, estás usando too much, ¿verdad? Si sí. tú ves el cuadrito ahí, necesitas usar después de too much, un non-count now. Si tú ves aquí el cuadro, el, el cuadro que están viendo así eh, de, del video, cuando tú usas too much, inmediatamente tenés que seguir con un non-count now. Okay. Very good. Anna says, with the COVID-19, we need more EP protection. Ah, e, uh, e, ¿cómo se llama? E, protective equipment, right? Is that what you want to say? Protective equipment. Okay. And Stephanie says, there should be fewer infections. Very good. Okay. La mayoría, buen ejemplo. Okay, very good. Okay, 
Does anybody have a question for this section? Before we go to the next section, do you have any question? Do you have any questions about this? No. Okay. Very good. Ana, in English, se dice PPE, es al revés. Personal Protective Equipment. Okay, very good. No hay preguntas sobre esta sección? Do you have any no. questions? Okay, let's go to the next section then. All right, I want to show you the video for the next section. The video is indirect questions. Indirect questions. ¿Quién vio este video ya? 2.7. Did you see this video? ¿Alguien ya lo vio? Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. Eh, yo voy a suponer que no la han visto la mayoría. Entonces yo le voy a dar play. Uh -huh. Pero si ya lo vieron, entonces mándenme un mensaje. Respond. ¿Ya lo vieron? Send me a message in the chat. Okay, Michelle, yes. Okay, Wilfredo, no. Wilfredo, eh, ¿dónde está en la plataforma? ¿Por dónde va? Sara says yes, she already saw the video. Uh -huh. Wilfredo. Hello, hello, Wilfredo, ¿está allí? Eh, sí, es eh, finalizando el primero porque había tenido problemas eh, con el... la primera sección. Sí, está, está un poquito atrasado, Wilfredo, porque ya vamos a finalizar la dos. Entonces, sí. estos temas no los ha visto para nada. So, se, le, se le va a hacer un poquito difícil, pero síganos aquí. Okay. ¿Quién log in the platform yet? ¿Por qué, Andrea? ¿Cuál problema tiene? Teacher, estamos en el 2. ¿Qué? ¿2.1? ¿2.2? Este video, video? Que, este video es el 2.7. Ok. Quiero ver si la mayoría ya lo vio. Por ahí. Es bueno preguntar porque aquí veo que algunos ni, no tienen ni el contraseña todavía. Eh, ok. You did not get the email. Andrea, ¿qué pasó? Hasta ahora nos está, nos está avisando. Andrea, entonces no ha hecho ninguna sección hasta el momento de no, la plataforma. No, ninguna, ninguna. ¿Por qué? ¿Y Pero por qué, porque hasta ahora nos está no, avisando. Sí. Ya lo he, ya lo avisé. ¿Con quién le dije, eh, le escribí a, al número que enviaron, creo que se llamaba Jonathan. Ajá. Y también se lo comuniqué a una muchacha, no me acuerdo el nombre de ella. ¿Cuándo pero, le escribí a Jonathan? A Jonathan le escribí el 3, el 3 de este mes. Ok, tenemos que arreglar eso lo, lo más pronto posible. Porque no ha hecho ninguna sección. No. <ríe> ok, no, no, no nos podemos atrasar así. Ok, Brian, 2.5. Nestro, yes, you already saw the video. Very good. Uh, otras personas ahí no me dieron la opinión. Let's watch this video. Indirect questions. In Ready? our indirect questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. 
Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or... Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're going to learn is we're going to learn some rules that we're going to follow in changing these questions from direct to indirect questions. We're going to learn how to do it with the verb to be. And we're also going to learn how to change WH questions with either do or did. Now let's try to make sense of this whole concept here. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank, into an indirect question. And the way that we'll do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb. So in this case, could you tell me? All right, and then this is going to be followed by a WH word. In this case, it happens to be where, but it could be any other WH word. For example, it could be what time, how often, when, etc. Any kind of WH word is what we're going to include here. So could you tell me, and in this case, I'll ask where. This is going to be followed by the subject. So in this case, it happens to be the bank, where the bank, and then finally, we're, we're going to include the verb. So in this case, could you tell me where the bank is? And just so that we follow the pattern that I'm proposing here, I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for now. Now, let's try to make sense of that. Okay, very good. Lo quiero parar aquí so that you can see something. What are we doing? We're taking the WH questions and we're using indirect indirect speech, okay? For example, aquí está la WH question, right? And I'm going to change it to indirect speech. ¿Por qué hago esto? ¿Cuál es el propósito de este cambio? It's polite. It's polite. ¿Alguien dijo ahí? It's yeah. polite, right? It's more formal. It's more respectful, right? Yeah. Imagínense si ustedes eh, quieren pedir una dirección, están en la calle tal vez buscando una dirección, y ven al, al primer, a la primera persona desconocida y le dicen, hey, hey tú, where's the bank? <laughs> Suena un poco rudo, ¿verdad? So you're going to use indirect questions to be more respectful. Excuse me, could you tell me where the bank is? Okay, we use it to be more formal. Okay, now, ¿cuál es el cambio? Aquí el teacher nos enseñó. We use, could you tell me? Right, la frase que vamos a usar. WH word, and then the subject, and then the verb. Okay, quiero que se den cuenta aquí. Aquí primero está el verbo, is... Y después está el subject. So, for example, here you have the verb and the subject. Okay? Now, aquí va primero el subject y después el verb. 
Do you see? ¿Vieron ese cambio? Sí. Okay. Very good. So, for example, here. How often do the bus the buses leave? Excuse me. Can you tell me how often the buses leave? Okay. Very good. Aquí hay otro ejemplo. What time does the bank open? Excuse me. Do you know what time the bank opens? Okay. Very good. Uh, do you have any questions here for this section? Okay. ¿Qué es lo que estamos haciendo? Direct questions into indirect questions. ¿Por qué? To be more polite. All right. Now, I want to show you what we're going to do. We're going to do a speaking activity. Okay. Este cuadro se lo voy a mandar here. Do you see? We're going to, we have here the direct question. Okay. Eh, noten que están usando la contracción con el verb to be, pero sí está ahí el verb to be. Okay. So, for example, here, number one, where's the station? Can you tell me? Where the station is. Where the station is. is. Correct? Así, así es como lo hago. Can you tell me where the station is? Okay. Pongo, aquí está el verb to be primero, pero aquí lo pongo al final. Okay. Estamos haciendo ese cambio. Eh, ¿Preguntas? ¿Tienen que escribir aquí? No, no quiero que escriban. Quiero que hablen. Speaking exercise. Okay? Uh -huh. Very good. So let's go to groups. Okay? Grupo de tres. Ready? Let's go. Okay, hello. Hello. Okay, in WhatsApp, I put the picture of the speaking activity. Go to WhatsApp. Okay. Look at the picture. Okay. okay. Where's the station? You're going to change it, right? Esa ya, ya la hice yo. Where's the, sta where's the station? Can you tell me? where the station is, okay? That's correct there. All right? ¿Quién va después? ¿Quién va a hacer la, la segunda? Yo. Can you let... Uh -huh. Okay? Come on, come on, Nestro. Let's go. Después Andrea. Can you let me know in if... You come to the party, are? Okay, la pregunta es, are you coming to the party? How do you change it into indirect? Can you let me know if... You? Aha. Uh -huh. You come into the party, are? Aha. Uh -huh. No tienes que poner are al final. Aquí solamente uh, es, can you tell me... Porque esta no es WH question, esta es yes or no question. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you let me know if you're going to the party? Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, next, Andrea. Can you explain how it goes? Well, work. <laughs> work, can you explain me um, how it works? Okay, how does it work? Can you explain? Aquí vamos a poner, can you explain to me how it works? 
Can you explain to me how it works? Okay. okay. Very good. Okay, next, Anna, number three. Hello, Anna. Okay, uh, Nestro, continue. Yeah. What's the matter? Please tell me the matter what is. No, ahí no, va no, el verb no, to no. be al final. Sí. Porque está así, porque es WH. Please tell me what the matter is. Yes, very good. Please tell me what the matter is. Very good, excellent. Continue. Sí. What's the matter is? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah. What the matter is? Yes, very good. For WH questions, el verb to be va al final. Ah, yeah. WH. Yeah, for WH yeah. questions. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, and, and the, the second two. one, uh -huh. Uh -huh. how do you say that? Can you let me know if you are coming to the party? Can you let me know if you're coming to the party? Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's right? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Es que no es doble doble VH. Uh -huh. Por eso. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo, ¿cómo quedaría? Disculpen, no escuché bien. La segunda. Can you let me know if you if... are coming to the party? Ah, uh -huh. ok. Thank you. Ok, very uh, good. Continue. What's the. ¿A dónde vamos? No, ah, no, where no, are you from? Where, where are you from? from? I like to know. Where you where you from where, are where you from are where are. you're where from you are. Mm -hmm. and the next one do you know how low how low does take to get there it how long do you know do you know how low does take to get there it how long how long that does it take does to get there mm -hmm. tal como está tal como está no, mm -hmm. el, ahí, ahí no cambia para nada el verbo no. eh, al final no Solo porque el verbo el, es que el verbo oh. ahí es el verbo auxiliar does mm -hmm. okay. y okay. no no cambia mm -hmm. okay do you know how long? Now, uh, puedes hacer esto también, look. Puedes eliminar el verbo does. Do you know how long it takes to get there? Okay. Es, eso okay. suena mejor. Sin auxiliar, ajá. Mm -hmm. Sin auxiliar. How long does it take there? Do you know how long it takes to get there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, quiero que noten algo. Esto, esto es algo separado, pero es lo que le estaba diciendo al inicio de la clase. WH questions normalmente son las que están a la izquierda, pero yes or no questions son las que están a la derecha. Eh, pueden practicar la entonación. Uh -huh. Remember, yes or no questions van para arriba la entonación. WH questions va para abajo. Ok. Ok, continue. Go. Has she reached a decision yet? Has she told you whether? Has she told you whether? Richard, what does mean whether? Whether in this in this case here, no es whether como el clima fuera, uh -huh. sino es como eh, es como si si sí o no. Mm. Okay. Probabilidad. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, for example, this one is not a WH question, right? Empieza con no. has. So, it's not a WH question. Um, has she told you whether she reached a decision yet? Tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Imagínense que están hablando con alguien. Has she reached a decision yet? Has she told you whether she has reached a decision yet? Okay. okay. Very good. 
Next one. Oh, ok. G esa excuse me no parece direct question. Excuse me. How no, do you esa excuse me, excuse me yo lo agregué para ser un poquito más formal. Pero no es, no es necesario, pero imagínate si tú quieres llamar la atención de alguien formalmente. Excuse me, con permiso. Disculpe. Uh -huh. Profe, excuse me, can you tell este, us? No, no pudimos hacer o no the... entendimos una. Ah. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál? Esta. Este. Ay, ya se me olvidó, permiso. Ahí está. Ahí puedo ver más. Ok. Has she reached a decision yet? Has sí, she no la... told you whether... Escríbalo, please. Ok. A ver, right, escucha primero. Has she told you whether she reached a decision yet? Mm -hmm. Ok. Let me see. Quiero ver si puedo escribir aquí. Has she told you whether she reached a decision yet? Simplemente sigo escribiendo lo que está ahí. Igual, no, no hago ningún cambio. Okay. Okay. Has she told you whether she reached a decision yet? Okay. No hago ningún cambio. Ahí no cambiamos nada. No. Ah. Eh, esta es un yes or no question, no es un WH question. Dígame en español qué dice, profe. Mm. Ay, no puedo. No, no lo, mira, no te lo puedo traducir literalmente. Yo sé que tú quieres traducir al inglés al español, pero recuerda que las reglas gramáticas no son iguales de los uh -huh. idiomas. Entonces no vas a poder encajar 100%. Um, no sé cómo te decirte. Eh, ella te ha dicho si ha llegado una decisión, sí o no. ¿Te ha dicho ella si ha llegado a una decisión, sí o no? Ok. Now, no me gusta hacer eso, Sara. Porque te estoy tratando de... Quieres entender el inglés con las reglas del español. Y, y no son 100% igual. Ok. No van a encajar okay. siempre. No van a encajar. All right, very good. Let's go. Continue. Did you finish? No. No. Okay. No. Continue. Okay. For example, hay una buena que dice una bien común. What are you doing? Do you have any idea? Oh, do you have? Uh, do you have do you any, have idea? any idea? You what? doing a? Do you have any idea what you're doing? Es como si, si tú ves a alguien que está tratando de cocinar, pero, pero no sabe cocinar nada, está haciendo un desorden. En vez de decirle, hey, what you doing? Suena como un, un poquito muy rudo. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea? What Are you're you doing? doing? What you're doing? What you're doing? Ah, you no cambia nada. No, do you have any idea what you are doing? Okay. Very good. Dale click ahí una vez más, Stephanie, para que se haga más grande. Ahí. Mm, ahí está. Hey, what you doing? Suena como muy rudo. Do you have any idea? what you're doing okay now let's say aquí la, la que sigue uh, you can say could you lend me 30 dollars en vez de reales no sé qué es un real let's say dollars could you lend me 50 dollars y aquí vamos a usar esta es otra frase I don't suppose. No, I don't lend. have it. Hmm? No, you no, don't, I have, don't it? have it. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could you lend me fifty dollars? I don't suppose you can lend me fifty dollars. Esta no es una pregunta. Si esta es simplemente como 
uh, a sentence. Okay. okay. All right, very okay. good. So let's go back. Me, in, the, in the end, mm -hmm. does Susana like classical music? I wonder I if. Wonder if does Susana like classical music? No tenés que usar el, verb to, el, el verbo auxiliar. I wonder if Susana likes classical Susana music. Susana likes classical music. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know? I wonder if it's like saying a saber si. You know, it's like when we say in, in Spanish a saber mm. si. Wonder if a saber si. Bueno. Te estoy dando como, un, no es una traducción literal, sino que es como un, sí. un dicho. Son, algunas son frases that we use. Este, yo me traté de... Okay, very good. So it was a little practice for you to use this. Um, so let, let's go back to the exercise that you're going to do. Le dejo de tarea ver el video. Watch the video, okay, 2.7. And then after that, you have a check, a knowledge check. Eh, después del 2.7, you can watch the video, right? Hay una explicación un poquito más, más detallada que la que yo di, pero ahí está el video para que ustedes lo puedan ver, ¿ok? 2.8. ¿Ok? ¿Quién hizo esta parte ya? 2.8. ¿Ya lo hicieron? ¿Ok? Sí, yes, We have... Three minutes. No quedan tres minutos. All right. Only three questions. Let's do it. Based on the listening activity from the video, answer the following questions. Ah, this. All right. This is from the video. So, este de aquí tienen que ver el video que está en, en la explicación que estaba dando el teacher. Okay. Del 2.7. Tienen que escuchar ese video y y contestar estas preguntas. Okay. We can we can answer. Uh-huh. The first one is upstairs, across from the duty free shop. No te escucho, Eric. Perdón. The first one is upstairs, across from the duty free shop. Uh -huh. Sí, yo tengo las respuestas aquí, pero no se las quiero dar. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that's different. <laughs> that's different. No, no sabía que tenemos que escuchar el listening exercise. All right. So, les dejo de tarea. El listening exercise 2.7. Okay. Y después contestar esta parte, 2.8. ¿Ok? Now, los que quieren ver algo extra, entonces le voy a dar este link aquí. ¿Ok? Donde ustedes pueden hacer más indirect questions. All right? Now, ojo, lo digo una vez más. Yo no, le, yo no he hecho estas. No las he visto, no las he calificado, no les puedo dar la seguridad de estas. Pero si ustedes quieren hacerlos, hacer algo extra, no problem. ¿Ok? Aquí hay una también que estaba, que estaba considerando darles ahorita. For example, number one. Where's the station? Can you tell me where the station is? Okay. Very good. Now, si ven aquí, hay unas reglas. Number one. Look, listen. Indirect. In an indirect WH question, the subject comes before the verb. Es el cambio que le decía. Aquí está el verb to be primero, pero aquí va el verb to be de último. Okay. So ese es el cambio que le estaba diciendo. Now, otra cosa que nos dimos cuenta, si vieron la, la, el ejercicio que hicimos, el do y does no se usa for indirect questions. And then... Hay una tercera regla. Bueno, quiero borrar todo esto. Hay una tercera regla que dice, in an indirect yes or no question, que vimos bastante esa, que había has, do, todas esas que empiezan con yes or, eh, que es, es yes or no question, 
o que empiezan con el verb to be, ¿ok? Usamos whether or if. ¿Cuál es la, la diferencia? Whether is formal or if is less formal, ¿ok? Pero puedes usar cualquiera, whether or if. Okay. For example, uh, look at the, exercise, the next one, number two. Question. Esto se lo voy a mandar para que ustedes lo puedan hacer extra. Are you coming to the party? Can you let me know if, ah, ahí está, ya pusieron if, if you're coming. Teacher, in this case, whether, what the mean? ¿Qué significa whether? It's like, for example, si, como, es como un condicional. Okay. For example, could you tell me whether you like this class or not? Could you tell me whether you like this class or not? Te lo voy a escribir. Can you tell me whether you like this class or not? Okay. Do you see? Whether es como si te gusta o no. Can you tell me if you like this class or not? Can you tell me whether you like this class or not? Or you can say, can you tell me if you like this class or not? Right? Very good. Do you understand? No sé si te puedo dar una traducción literal. Tal vez no existe. Pero, do you understand how we're using it? Es como para dar opciones a la persona. Can you tell me if you like this class? Yes or not? Sí o no? Si te gusta, sí o no? Es ese sí o no que ponemos nosotros. Okay. okay. All right, very good. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Les voy a mandar este sí, worksheet. Tienen el video 2.7, 2.8, terminar la sección 2 y les voy a mandar esta worksheet extra. Okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good.